Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. So we start with our problem. The table below shows the marks of students in mathematics and physics tests. Calculate the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient of the data. So we have the math scores and the physics scores. We start the solution of the problem from the formula. The formula for Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient is given here. This is R equal to SXY over root SXX times SYY, where SXY is summation of sigma XY minus sigma X times sigma Y over N. As a number of observation, SXX is summation of x squared minus summation of x all squared over n. SYY is equal to summation of y squared minus summation of y all squared over n. We told you the n is the number of observation, like we have 10 observations here. We are going to create additional rules for x, y, x squared and y squared. So we are going to create three additional rows. So we have uh, the three additional rows. Um, we can pick any of these scores as x or y. The order does not matter. So we take the maths as x and the physics as y. We still need x, y, x squared and y squared. So we start with x y which means we are multiplying x by y so 8 times 7 gives 56 this is 48 you multiply 9 and 6 giving 54 this is 20 this is 15 6 56 15 42 and 12 so we are done multiplying x and y then we go for x squared x squared this is 64 c squared 36 9 squared 81 16 25 9 49 25 49 and 36 so we're done with x so we go for y squared squared in y we have 49 64 36 25 9, 4, 64, 9, 36, and 4. So we've gotten the x, y. So what we do now is sigma x, sigma y, sigma x, y, sigma x squared, and sigma y squared. That is the summation of all these things. So we start with sigma x summing up all the x's that is the scores for maths if you sum them up we have 60 so for sigma y we are summing up all the y's that is the scores for physics this is summed up to give us 50 so the next thing is x y so sigma x y summing up all these scores in this row we have 324 then x squared summing up all the x squares we have 390 and finally sigma y squared summing up all the y squared we have 300 we then go ahead to find sxy sxx and xyy for our xy um sigma xy sigma xy is 324 minus sigma x sigma x is 60 and sigma y is so we have 60 times 50 then over n n is number of observation that's giving us 10 because there are 10 scores and this is equal to 24 we then go for sxx for sxx we have sigma x squared sigma x squared is 390 
minus sigma x and then square it is going to be 60 squared over n which is the number of observation giving us a 10 simplifying this we have 30 so we go for the last one s y y which is sigma y squared sigma y squared is 300 minus sigma y all squared sigma y is 50 then we squared it divide by 10 which is the number of observation this gives 50 so having gotten this we then go ahead to find our piercing's product moment correlation coefficient represented by r in this formula so we have r s x y is 24 over square root of SXX is 30 times XYY, which is 50. So pressing your calculator, we have 0 0.6197, which represents the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient of the data represented in the table and that's all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video also remember to subscribe to our youtube channel also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on correlation statistics until we come your way again goodbye